Hey, it's Pastor Mike. I'll keep this short because I know you want to listen to today's message. You're here because you want to continue growing in your faith, and we at Time of Grace want the exact same thing for you. Just visit us at timeofgrace.org, and you'll find a ton of resources at your fingertips, like sermons, videos, books, devotions, our blog, and of course, more podcasts. See you there. When I was in college, a historic flood hit the city where I went to school. And having grown up just 20 minutes away, I felt an extra connection to, to do something. So I went down to the riverbed and I sandbagged until 2 a.m., helping to try to save a business that was there from the floodwaters that was coming in. We thought we had done our job, but yet the waters rose a, a little higher than we were expected. They, they found a little dip in our sandbag wall, came through and just destroyed everything and, and flooded that business. It was so sad, all of that work and all that effort and destruction still happened. See, the devil is like water. He finds the low point in your life to, to flood in with temptation after temptation and we fall victim to that. He blows our lives up. There's such struggle that ends up happening there. Paul describes this frustration that we all have with temptation very well in Romans chapter 7. This is verse 15. He said, I do not understand what I do. For what I want to do, I do not do. But what I hate, I do. Paul struggled with temptation as we all do. But I'm here to tell you today that you can have joy in temptation. Now, that seems strange. It seems odd. How can you have joy in temptation? Shouldn't joy be safe for something that's joyful? Like graduating high school and, and getting that degree or getting married to the love of your life. Having your first child, those should be joyful. But you can have joy in temptation. How is that? Well, joy in temptation is when you're no longer tempted by something that used to tempt you. So for me, I have joy in temptation when it comes to alcohol. Because in college, I, I struggled at times. I would feel awful, I would repent of it, but it was a struggle that I had. Had. I don't have that struggle anymore. Joy in temptation over alcohol because it doesn't touch me like it did. And so I have joy in the power of Jesus in my life. So if you've got a struggle, a struggle in temptation, remember all the victories that God has given to you over past things that you used to struggle with. See God's power, see God's might, and know that in Jesus, with his love, his forgiveness, his power and his grace, he can help you. It'll take some time. But he can help you to have joy in that temptation that what used to get you no longer does.